welcome to Sweden and my EFPG something, you know, power system for hang gliders, electric, and my version 3. I have been flying this for one and a half year now, and uh, the version 3 is uh, the latest development of this system to make it safe and more user friendly. So let's take a look. If we start to look here, I have a Leo Motion motor, uh, the biggest one, 2.2 kilo, I think, because I'm 85 kilo and flying a, a big wing. And uh, I have a special made prop 3218 uh, with a thinner shape for electric motor, made in Germany. And the Leo Motion is from Switzerland. Uh, we have the landing gear. After a lot of tries with one leg, I'm in fact modified now to two legs again because I was so tired of have the, having this uh, tilting to one or another side when I was taking the harness on and off. So I think this is a good and simple solution. Uh, this is just the prototype plates here, but they are able to be water cut and I also think the the mount for this now I have to release these Four screws a little bit to remove them, but it will be a, a soldered a welded aluminium tube inside here and a quick sprint or something a quick lock So I'm able to take it away for easy transportation also, here we have bullet uh, connectors, three of them. So if I remove these, could also be a quick push-pull pin. It's easy to take the motor and the prop away for easy transportation too. Uh, the carbon fiber tube is uh, connected to the mm, main piece here. The new thing is that I have the speed control, the batteries and every electronic parts inside here. And on the harness, I only have this mounting plate. So I can use the harness as a normal harness without a lot big thing on it. Just leaving this on and it's possible to use it on an old harness with aluminium plate or the new style with tubes and I have a tube mount on the inside instead like water tube mount here it's still the prototype you know the fireproof uh, protection from the lipo bag here i have the speed control unit uh, that i bite on works great easy i have the electronic box with the uh, information about the, the small battery pack that I use inside here and I can also read the, the output uh, that I have with the speed control so I can check that everything is okay this is connected to the the hobby wing 220 amps uh, uh, regulator and uh, I use the double fan on it too because the wind is not so strong off the batteries. So maybe I, I will put the speed control up here in fact to, to have an easy soldering direct to the, uh, to the connectors up there. And also to have it in the good uh, cooling air. Uh, basic clamps here velcro to the batteries you know i still have the, the big connector here so the, the electric system looks a little bit hash because on the v2 i had it releasable here so i was able to take the boom away with just one connector for the for everything and this was mounted on the harness all the time but now i have done this modification instead on the v3 and it feels really good because I, I can have this as a separate part. And I have a quick pin system here that goes into these two holes here. So it, it's easy to mount it. And uh, the thing is that you have to mount the system 
on the hang glider on the harness before you take on the harness. So what I have done is that I have a extended stinger pin with a, with a hook that I pushed down in the ground. So I, I just walk away with a hang glider and this long stinger just pop out and I'm ready to go. So that works uh, great. I have done another system too with a front mounted uh, stinger we can call it too to make it possible too but I say if it's wet always use trousers with the uh, knee pad you know the constructor builder thing or something so you don't have wet knees on your trousers when you take off. Over there you also see my two-piece uh, windsock that I always try to put up where I'm flying so I'm sure about the uh, direction to land. I also found uh, this small nice part that makes it possible to make the, the carbon fiber tube uh, foldable too. So I can have it just half the length if I want. And uh, this makes it really easy if I have a, a small car or something like that to put the stuff into. Take the motor away, take the legs away and you can even fold it down to like one meter or something like that. Easy and smooth. So this is what I'm using now and it, it seems to work great. I can have bigger batteries if I want. This is 16,007S batteries. And I say this is the smallest you should use if you are up to like 200 amps. My 14,000 batteries get too hot, I think. So between 16 and 18,000 something, that uh, it works great. And the old harness, it's really good like this. Uh, the connectors are 200 amps uh, connectors too. So they work great and no heating problem. Uh, the cabling is of course important to have it uh, big enough. The area uh, of the cabling so it doesn't get warm either because you lose power on that. Yeah, so this is what I have done so far and please uh, give me a comment on what you think about it and um, if you maybe need a hardware kit, um, I don't know. But uh, these have given me a lot of flying opportunities here on the flatland in the south part of Sweden. I'm really happy and I have a flight time around 16, uh, 10 minutes with these 16,000 batteries. And uh, that's really, I think, good. Maybe 18,000 could be even better. The, the power, like you see when I do the takeoff, the static power is not as much as on the Mosquito because they, the Mosquito has a bigger prop. But uh, I, I mean the climb, it, it's absolutely okay for these kind of light uh, equipment that helps you to get up to the thermals. So I, I'm, I say this is good enough. And, but uh, that was all. Uh, fly safe, have fun and uh, maybe you need something like this.